Hello again, my friends and business partners from around the world. Talking to Israel, your teacher from Brazil. Welcome back to my channel, my friends. On this video, I'm going to be speaking about the power transfer and how to maximize the power delivered to a load element. Please, my friends, take a look at this example that I drew on the board I want to send power to this load resistor here and to do that I have a power supply here and the power supply is going to send uh, power through a transmission element there is a transmission element here an impedance and the current will need to go through this impedance before reaching R2 okay so this element here Z1 which only uh, represent the transmission element is going to influence the circuit okay it, it, it is not our main objective our main objective is to send power to this load resistor here but we have an impedance here that's going to influence the way the power is going to be sent to the load resistor R2 then what we need to do is based on the parameters that we have here we want to maximize the power that we are going to send to the load resistor R2 okay my friends before understanding how to maximize power transfer we need to understand the power that we are going to send to this load resistor the power is simply P is going to be simply equal to R2 times I squared I is the uh, complex current okay I is a complex number that represents the current okay we want just the magnitude of this phaser okay we are not interested in the entirety of uh, the complex current we just want the magnitude of the phaser okay and if we square the magnitude of the phaser and the multiply by the magnitude of the load resistor we are going to have the power that's been sent to that load resistor okay r2 is variable i represented the hill with an arrow to mean that we can vary the value of r2 and this is just what we're going to do we are going to vary the value of r2 in order to have the maximum power transfer based on the parameters of the circuit but before doing that we need to understand the power that we are going to send this we are going to have a general representation of this power that we send into the load resistor okay we can simplify this thing further here and we are going to arrive at an expression that's going to be like this okay current is simply the division between the voltage the voltage of this voltage source here and the resistances here R1 plus R2 and the reactance all right and then we are going to square it because we want we need to square here the current in order to get the power and this term here E divided by R1 plus R2 plus JX1 is equal to the current, okay? Here, we, we have a problem. We have an imaginary number here in the denominator. But we are going to make it vanish. And how can we do that? Take a look. Uh, understand that the magnitude of a complex number, the magnitude of a complex number is is let's suppose let's call it z the magnitude of the complex number is equal to the square root square root of a squared plus b squared okay this is the magnitude of this complex number here and if we want to square this guy if we want to square it then what we're left with is only with the 
uh, a squared plus b squared then this is what we're going to apply here to get rid of this imaginary number here all right so my friends this is what we are going to do here and we are left with r2 times the magnitude of the voltage divided by divided by r1 plus r2 squared plus gx1 squared did you understand this step did you understand why this is going to be the power okay because we have to square it here and when we square a complex number what uh, we have left is the magnitude of the real power and the magnitude of the imaginary uh, the magnitude of the real number and the magnitude of the imaginary number both squared okay so my friends to finish with our approach what we need to do is to understand what what it means what does it mean to maximize something take a look at this function here okay everybody knows a function or uh, a quadratic equation here a quadratic function and what is the maximum point of this quadratic equation the maximum point is the vertex okay isn't it it's the zenith of the parabola and then this is the maximum point of this function and here exactly here exactly in this point the derivative of the function with respect to this element here is exactly zero okay so we are going to use this result here in order to calculate what we want and what we want is to set our to set this we are going to vary we are going to take the derivative of the power that we are sending to this load resistor with respect to this load resistor because this is the only variable of the problem this is the only uh, element that can vary then we are going to take the derivative of the power with respect to r2 and we are going to set it to be zero because we know when the derivative is zero we have a maximum we have a zenith okay so if the derivative of uh, p with respect to r2 is zero then we know that we have reached the maximum point okay then what we need to do is to take the derivative of this uh, result here okay the derivative of that result is going to be r1 plus r2 uh, squared plus x1 squared it's the denominator the denominator times the derivative of the numerator which is gonna be 2 times e squared no no it's gonna be this we are we are taking the derivative with respect to r2 then what's going to be left is only was only this okay minus okay it's gonna be uh, the denominator times the derivative of the denominator minus the nominator times the derivative of the denominator the derivative of the denominator is simply 2r2 plus r1 okay and this here the denominator is squared did you guys know how to do that yes i'm gonna repeat so you can memorize this derivative here is the denominator times the derivative of the denominator minus the uh, nominator times the derivative of the denominator divided by the denominator squared okay what we need to do is to set it to be zero we need to set it all to zero okay we set it to be zero we don't need to worry with the denominator here because if we have zero here then the, uh, the power can explode to infinity we do not wish that okay we wish this to be zero okay so for the 
the ratio, the, the derivative of the power with respect to the load resistor to not go to infinity, we are not going to work with the denominator, we are going to work only with the denominator. If the denominator is zero, then we can guarantee that this derivative is going to be zero as well, okay? Alright, uh, we can, we can uh, factor out E2 here, squared, can you see that? Can you see that, that we can factor out E2 here, because we have E2 here above sides, okay? Uh, e squared, E squared, we have both sides, we can factor it out, and then we are going to pay attention only what's here and what's there, okay? If we develop this, we're going to have R1 squared plus 2 times R1 plus R2 plus R2 squared plus x1 squared minus 2 times r2 squared plus minus minus not plus minus minus 2 times r1 times r2 and this has to be equal to zero okay my friends we can promptly see that we can cut this with this Okay, and we are left with this expression here. R1 squared plus X1 squared is going to be equal to, I have uh, minus 2 R2 squared plus 1 R2 squared is going to be equal to minus R1 squared. And then it's going to be equal to 0. We pass this to the other side of the equation, okay? It's gonna be uh, R1, uh, here R2, sorry, R2. R1 squared plus X1 squared will be equal to R2 squared, okay? Are you understanding what I'm doing? Okay, and then we can pass it to this and we have reached the final expression. R2 has to be equal to R1 plus X1 squared squared and the square root of them. When this is our result, this is our result. When R2 is equal to the square root of R1 squared plus X1 squared, then we have maximized the power that is delivered to the load resistor but you see that this is exactly this z1 is the magnitude of uh, this uh, complex number here then our final result is going to be r2 has to be equal to the magnitude of this element here we have a transmission element here that's going to be between your power supply and your load element to maximize the power to maximize the power that we need to deliver to this load element this load element here has to be equal to the magnitude of this complex number here okay so my friends this was the result that i wanted to show you guys i hope you my friends enjoyed my video goodbye